Yeah. That's got to be a wonderful story. <laughs> <laughs> Are we? Okay. Timothy, before we get to talking about the picture, mm -hmm. I bring you greetings from a friend, from Stephanie Symbolist, who said that I should say to you, toy, toy, toy. And I said, is that something dirty? And she assures me it is not. Oh, Stephanie, how nice. And we were just talking about Del Rio. Well, it was, I was in Del Rio in Texas uh, working on a film series for TV called Centennial that Stephanie was in. But I have to admit, I have to Toy, clue. toy, toy. Toy, toy, toy. She says it's good luck in Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, that's terrific. Then thanks. <laughs> thanks. Now that's what she told me. If, if we hear from <laughs> some Japanese I person, I didn't know what you meant for a minute, Bobby. I thought there was some wonderful moment when toy, toy, toy had meant something. To me. Now that's what she told me to tell you. Anyway, terrific. she's a charming, lovely woman. Oh, yeah. But we are here to talk about you as the new James Bond, and I must tell you straight away that you are the most romantic of the James Bonds. And I, as a woman, that was my reaction. And, and I analyzed it later, and I think it's because of the relationship that you have with one woman. Now, how important was that to you? Was that something that was already there, or was that something that you asked them to think about? Well, I think um, it's always more or less been there, irrespective of the publicity hype that always shows Bond surrounded by beautiful ladies. I mean, that's great publicity, you know, uh, but, well, it's great publicity if you, you know, uh, like that sort of, uh, I, I think the films are, should be and are much more serious than, uh, than that kind of publicity would lead you to believe. The, th the movies have always centered around one leading lady right from the very beginning, Dr. No, with Ursula Andress, uh, right through to the one in which he got married, and uh, I think looking at them through the series, certainly as a generalization, Bond has always fallen for one lady. I think if our but film has others. developed that, uh, sorry, um, I, th I think if our film has developed that theme, then I'm very, very pleased because I think it's a good theme, it's a right theme, it brings a, a better dimension to the film, and I do think it's classic Fleming. I mean, Fleming, when I read Fleming to find out how the hell to play James Bond, I was astonished by how romantic Fleming was. I mean, he had his man going out on these very difficult, dangerous tents, extraordinary missions, and always seeing a lady who was a victim or in distress and rescuing her and falling in love with her and it was genuine love. Now I do think that theme has been in all the films but I think it has been more developed uh, in ours and I think that's great credit to Mariam Dabo. Was there ever a day, Timothy, when because of the great physical stuff that mm. one must do as Bond, was there ever a day when you said to yourself, why <coughs> in the world did I ever take this on? Oh no, no, no. Um, Never got that tough, huh? No, I think the real toughness was just the pressure of work. I mean, it was a very long shooting schedule. It's the longest I've ever worked, and anyway, it's 19 weeks. And in that 19 weeks, I was supposed to have four days off, and I never got them. And often, when you're on location, you work very long hours. I mean, they're not the same hours you work when you're in town. And there is the constant pressure to, to think of something. I've got to go on any second and not only be real and believable, but also try and find something that's imaginative and new and show another facet of the character. I've got to find ways of making him real and human and interesting and available to an audience. I've also got to find ways of, you know, handling what has to be done. And that's incessant, it's never ending. So, you know, week by week by week that builds up. I think that was the, the, uh, the difficulty. I mean, the physical stuff is, you know, you can take a pause, you can have a break, you can get your breath back and then you can run down the street. I can still run, I might be 40 years old, I can <laughs> run a bit and jump a bit and <laughs> at least well enough for the camera. Do you realize, <laughs> why do you keep running? <laughs> you must realize that now you are going to be a worldwide famous face. It doesn't matter where you go anymore unless you're in great disguise as an old woman or something, that 
that you will be sought and recognized and mm. so forth. <clears throat> will you enjoy that kind of fame? Um, I probably won't, to tell you the truth. Uh, I don't think it's, it's not an uncommon uh, phenomena. I, I think, uh, I mean, there's a very famous uh, television series named after the place where you come from and many other television series that have worldwide acclaim where the actors and actresses are in people's homes every week. Uh, m many people have had the same problem. I, uh, I, I wouldn't relish that really because the, the I don't know, the, the, the fabric for one's work I, uh, comes from being able to be anywhere and everywhere. Film stars actually earn their money playing ordinary people. And if you're removed from the world of ordinary people, if you're forced out of that, you, you lose the very, you know, uh, earth, soil, nutriment of your, of your work. But uh, it, other people have coped with it. I hope I do. You have, I hear, you have signed for four more pictures. Is that right? Well, um, we certainly do have an arrangement. Um, this is with Cubby that's, that's without question, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, we have to presume that the film will be successful, but Mr. Broccoli has always made it very clear that uh, this is not an institution. It's had terrific success for 25 years, but they must succeed. And ever since Dr. No, he said, uh, if the film we're doing makes a dollar, we'll make another. Now, we're not going to know about this one until, I should think, at least November or December, but given that it's a success, and, uh, I mean, I think it's a very different kind of bond. I think it's a romantic, mysterious, action thriller um, and a damn good cracking piece of entertainment. I think hopefully it will be a success and I'll be thrilled to do some more. Well, I predict that it is going to be a big success. The early mm. indications are that people like you very much. Well, they like your James Bond. People seem to be very enthusiastic at yes. the moment, but yes. time's got to tell. Well, maybe in a couple of years, Timothy, we'll be back here talking about the next James Let's Bond. Let's hope so. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Thank you for your time. I enjoyed Thank you. it very, very much.